Hi everyone, my name is Caroline. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I'm a physics lecturer at a UK university. It is now officially summer in the UK. So we seem to be having hot week, rainy week, hot week, rainy week. Um, but I have cracked out the summer cushions, so I'm feeling very summery up here in my office. And last week, it was our very first university virtual open day. Um, so I'm the physics admissions tutor. So one of my jobs is that I have to coordinate um, open days. And these are days where students come and have a look around the campus and essentially decide if they want to study the course and if the university feels like the right university for them. And typically these days for me are really good fun but they are really busy. So I'm trying to coordinate prospective students seeing inside the laboratories, looking around the department, meeting current students, meeting current staff. Um, we have subject talks they get to go to in the lecture theatres. I also am involved in giving the overall welcome talk to everybody who's visiting the university that day. Um, we have a marquee up with those of subject information. And then obviously the housing blocks are open, the accommodations open, and um, we've got the sports centre open. Um, so yeah, it's great fun. Usually my day involves running around, giving talks, making sure everybody's okay, um, answering lots of questions about student admissions. So what grades are needed, how the course structure works. Um, but yeah, usually you'll see me with a clipboard sprinting from location to location. And at the end of the day, usually I've had a really good day, but I'm quite tired. Last week was quite different. Now, because of this horrible global pandemic, we can't have students visiting our campus at the moment. Um, and that's really tough, you know, I, I can't welcome students into the department, I can't show them around the laboratories and the facilities at the moment, um, they can't come to see what the campus atmosphere is actually like. So the next best thing we can do is a virtual university open day. And actually, I think there are some pretty big positives to going to a virtual day. Um, and I hope actually they continue even after this horrible situation is over. I think having a mix of virtual open days and physical days where you can actually go to the, the university might be really good for students. So yeah, let me chat you through a little bit about from a lecture perspective, things to do to get the most out of a visit to a university by using one of these kind of virtual days. Um, so the first benefit, I guess, of the virtual university day is you don't need to go anywhere. You can just log in from the comfort of your own home, from your garden. You can be out and about and still be able to log in and see stuff. And that's really good because one of the challenges with going physically to a university open day is trying to see everything in a very short period of time. You know, typically you have a lot of things on your checklist that you want to see when you visit a university and it gets even harder if you're trying to see more than one subject. So when we do all like the timetabling and planning at the university for our open days, we try not to put subject talks at the same time where we think students might be interested in both of those subjects. So we'll try to avoid having the physics and maths talk at the same time. We'll try to avoid having the physics and engineering talk at the same time because they're often subjects that students are trying to decide between and they want to go to both of the subject talks. Um, and typically we'll put on more than one subject talk a day to try to help as well for students visiting the campus at different times. Now, if you're going to a virtual day, the talks are most likely going to have been pre-recorded. And that means the university will be putting them up on the internet and they'll be available for a period of time. And so when you're planning your day, actually it gives you a lot more flexibility to watch these talks at a time that suits you, uh, which I think is actually a really good thing, you know, really useful and doesn't make it quite such a busy, stressful day. The only thing to check is when the university is going to take that talk down. Um, so typically, I think universities are going to put them up for a long period of time, but you just want to make sure that the subject talk you're wanting to see doesn't appear for a few days and then get removed off the internet because that would be really, really annoying. So check that. Um, I would say it's worth going to the subject talks. You know, it's where I chat all about the course, um, the difference between a bachelor's and a master's. I talk about the different course options, module choices that students get. So I think the subject talk is a good place to start for your virtual visit. Um, but then check out what else the university is offering. So we had like a tour video of the department. We'd re recorded a tour video earlier in the year. Um, it was up on YouTube, so we could share that link. And it means students can have at least a feel of the department. I mean, it's not the same as getting to go into the laboratories and getting to see things firsthand, but at least you get kind of a, a feel of what the department has and the facilities they have. Um, but we also had some kind of live sessions throughout the day as well. So we've done quite a lot of things on Facebook. So we have live Q&A sessions on Facebook. And for the open day, we actually had a live webinar. 
So we use Zoom. Everyone seems to have their favorite interface kind of virtual tool at the moment. Um, but yeah, we had Zoom, um, which was fine. And the way it worked was that I chatted with the maths tutor and the foundation year tutor, and we were all together in the same virtual room. And then we had somebody from central admissions team and they coordinated questions coming in from the students to us. So the students were live typing their questions and we were live answering them. And it was good, you know, it was, it was really good. I think we had 45 minutes and we probably could have chatted for a lot longer. And then what happened at the end was any outstanding questions, uh, we shared email addresses and the students could send in their, their questions still by email and we would still get back to them with an answer. And I think that video has gone up online this week. So again, it means that students who weren't able to watch it on the day can still log in and hopefully we answer some of the questions that they were interested in. So it was good. It was really good fun. Um, what else did we have? We had housing and finance chats going on. Uh, we had like a student buddy system where you could log in and chat to somebody who's already a student at the university and see how their experience has gone and what they found to be enjoyable and challenging. Um, and actually as an admissions tutor, it was by far and away my most relaxing open day. You know, I didn't do any running between departments. There was no kind of giving lecture theatre talks at different lecture theatre locations. I just sat at my desk at home and I chatted away to students via the, uh, the virtual webinar and it was really good. Um, but yeah, I think it's worth going to these virtual open days. Um, actually, it can be worth as well seeing if a friend or a family member will go with you. Now, I know it's a bit of a strange concept because you're not actually going anywhere. Um, but sometimes I think it's useful if a second person watches the talk with you or somebody else has a look at the facilities with you because then you've got somebody to ask the opinion of, see what they think of it all, see what questions that they would have about going to that particular university. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the autumn, whether we'll be allowed to welcome students onto campus to actually see it for the autumn open days, or whether we'll be still in this kind of virtual mode of giving an open day. But as I said, I thought they were really good. And actually going forward, I really hope that universities continue to offer virtual days as well as like the physical day where you get to come to campus. You know, as a student, I remember traveling around to see all the different universities, having to pay for rail tickets, getting my parents to drive me up and down the country. Um, and sometimes you might have quite a long list of universities you're considering. And actually, if you go to the virtual open day first, you might find it's a way that you can quickly decide which universities are on your short list and maybe focus on visiting just those particular universities rather than having to visit all of the universities. So yeah, I mean, if you're going to virtual open days now, I'd be interested to know what you think from the kind of the student side. Are you enjoying it? Are you thinking you're seeing enough about the university to help you make your decisions? Um, as I said, from the academic side, it was good. I, I enjoyed giving the subject talk. Uh, we pre-recorded it to myself and the departmental head and then a bit of editing together and it was ready to go. And then we had the live question and answer session and then we had all the departmental tours. We also made some videos, links available that kind of give you a feel of the subject and actual techie details and kind of fun physics areas that we might be exploring within the degree programme. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, so coming up for the summer, I've got lots of stuff planned for this channel. So I thought we could have some videos covering things like discussing science with the media, how you interact with the media, um, research grants. Thank you for the suggestion in the comments about research grants. It was on my to-do list. It's a, a big topic about how we finance our research, how we finance students, how we win money in order to be able to do our research. So that's definitely on the list of things coming up. Um, I thought we could also chat about whether a PhD is a, the right option for you or not the right option for you. And obviously we need to talk about modules, how you pick your modules for the semester ahead. And then maybe towards the end of the summer, we'll have a little bit of chat about CVs and CV preparation. Um, but yeah, loads of stuff, loads of good content coming up, hopefully. So um, if it's the kind of thing that interests you or you're interested in university life or what academics do or student matters, do hit the subscribe button. Um, if you've got any suggestions or comments of things you'd like us to chat about, just drop them in the comments below and I will keep a lookout for things that are coming in. But thank you very much for subscribing to the channel if you already have. If you're new, please do. It's, um, it's good fun to have an academic community building on YouTube. But look after yourselves. Have a great week. Continue to stay safe. Um, the situation out there in the world is still really difficult at the moment. So look after yourself. Be kind to yourself. If you're going to any virtual open days, have fun. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you're enjoying them or not. And I'll see you next week with another video. All right. Bye.